This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a door lock for a 2017 Ford Expedition that was sent to me by Jim in Grand Rapids. Apparently, he ordered the lock and it came with the wrong key, so he thought he'd send it my way. Now, the locking system used on the Expedition and several other Ford products has eight cuts on the key. But usually the door lock is not loaded with the full complement of eight wafers. Oftentimes, either wafers 1 and 2 or wafers 7 and 8 will be missing. We're going to open this with a pretty cool tool that I've never shown you before. It's a leashy 2-in-1 tool, and they carry some advantages and disadvantages. The main advantages are they're easy to use, and they can decode the lock. That is, this tool will give me all the information I need to cut a working key. The disadvantages are that each one only works on a specific type of lock, so you need to buy a whole bunch of these to make a wide range of entries. Second, they can be expensive, ranging from about $40 to $100 each if bought separately. They're a bit cheaper in a large set. The final disadvantage is that with about six exceptions, and I'll show you some of them in the near future, they're only made for car locks. So let's see this in action going to insert this into the keyway and fold this portion out. I press on that to act as my turning tool. Now let's zoom in on the face of this pick because that's where all the action happens. I want you to pay attention to the picking arms and in particular the little horns that stick out on the top and bottom. I'm going to start on wafer one. You can see that one's springy. Same for three. Number five is binding. Nice click there, he feels set. And seven is missing. Click out of three, he feels set. Click out of one, he feels set. I think we have all of the odd numbered wafers set. Let's move to the even numbers. Two feels loose, so does four. Six is binding, nice click there. Eight is missing. Little click out of four, click out of two, and we got this open. Okay, now the really interesting part, I think, is the decoding. So you can see I take this picking arm and move it to the number one arc. That represents wafer number one, and you can see it stops on level two. That means wafer one is a two cut. Wafer three is a three cut. Wafer five is a two cut and seven is missing to number two. Two is a two cut. Four is a four cut. Six, I think that's a three cut, and eight is missing. So if memory serves, that is two, two, three, four, two, three. Okay, folks, obviously this is a really capable tool. They do have a number of limitations that mostly center around the fact that they are so specialized. That said, if I were a locksmith who did a fair bit of entry work, particularly automobile entry work, I would almost certainly have several dozen of these in the back of my van. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.